Hello and welcome back. All right, so today we're going to be working on this uh, tutorial I found online from Toward Data Science, which is a full text search with Node.js and Elasticsearch on Docker. I thought it sounded like fun to put this together, and they've got a nice little tutorial to go through, so I figured I'd follow it and see what happens. So for this part of it, we're going to do a part one where we're just going to set up the Docker containers and the Docker Compose file and make sure our environment's all set up, and then we'll move on later on to a part two where we actually put in all the uh, Node JavaScript and get everything up and running. So first off, we're going to check and make sure that we got the required dependencies, which are going to be um, Docker and Docker Compose. And I'm also going to check and make sure that I've got Node and NPM installed. Um, that'll actually be running inside the Docker container, but just in case we want to do any troubleshooting or anything, we'll make sure that we've got those. So very cool. We got that. We're going to get set up here. So we're going to start by uh, creating a directory here and opening a Docker file. So if you haven't worked with Docker file before, it's a relatively simple uh, syntax and they do have guides online to walk you through but basically we're going to start with this uh, node alpine container which is going to be a lightweight container we're going to set the working directory move our files into it run npm install expose the ports and go um, i'm speeding up here i don't actually type this quickly uh, just because it's boring you probably don't want to watch me type everything out all right, so and then we're gonna set up our Docker Compose file. So this is gonna start up our Elasticsearch container as well as our Node container. All right, so we're gonna start off with our services. The API is gonna be that Node container. It's gonna work off the build file, which is the Docker file that we just created. We'll set up our ports. We'll set up our environment variables. We'll connect to a local volume. We're gonna specify our entry point. and create links and dependencies between this and the Elasticsearch container. And of course, set up our network. All right, we'll move on to Elasticsearch here. This is gonna build from the Elasticsearch base image. So we don't have to have a specific Docker file for it. We're just gonna pull the standard image. And this way we don't have to have Elasticsearch installed on our machine. Attach our volumes, set up our environment variables. Okay, and we'll change our logging level to none, that way we don't get a whole bunch of extra stuff out to the CLI. Bind our ports, make sure we've got our volumes and networks all set up here. Awesome, we'll exit. And we're gonna go ahead and fire up Docker Compose here. Oh, we got some issues, so we'll go back through and resolve. And this is the standard YAML syntax type of issues. We got some spacing. Um, so our indentations, move those out, and let's see, ah, I think I know what we got here. We'll pop back in there. Doo -doo -doo. And we just got to add that quote. There we go. All right, so if we run Docker Compose up, now we're pulling our containers. Awesome. So while that's going, we're going to cut off for today here because... Uh, it's just going to take time to pull those dependencies and build those containers out for us. And so what's going to happen is those are actually going to start up, but it's not going to work because we haven't created any JavaScript. So in the next video, the part two, we're going to go through and create the JavaScript files we need, run those, and see what happens when we curl our API endpoints and try to run a query through uh, Elasticsearch. So that'll be fun. We can look forward to part two, bootstrapping the Node.js app. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching and welcome you to come back and check out content.